Providence parents are threatening a lawsuit if school leaders forge ahead with a plan to shut down an elementary school. The school is one of two buildings the state-run district plans to close this year. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado has been covering this controversial plan since it came to light in December. She joins us now with the latest. Steph? The parents say the community should have been consulted before the decision was made to close schools, and their lawyer argues the decision wasn't made legally. Parents and teachers from the Alan Sean Feinstein Elementary School at Broad Street staging yet another protest this week trying to keep their school in Washington Park from being shut down. One parent, Catherine Lopez, saying children, parents and the community deserve answers about how the decision was made without public input. Now a group of parents is considering legal action. Attorney Elizabeth Wines sent this letter to the state's Council on Elementary and Secondary Education arguing Commissioner Angelica and Fonte Green lacks authority to permanently close a public school. Wines says that authority under the state takeover falls to the council itself, writing, should the council refuse to act to pause the closure of ASF, we intend to seek intervention from the court. Everything they did was in secrecy. Caitlin Crudale is one of the parents that may file suit. She's also the president of the PTO. Now one kid's going to end up on east side, and one's going to be on north side, south side, whatever side they're going to be on. They're all going to split up, and it's not fair to them. At the K-12 Council meeting Tuesday, board members asked for a legal opinion on the authority to close a school, including Michael Almeida. He's a former superintendent in Coventry. I, at, as a superintendent of schools, never thought I ever had the authority to close a school on my own. Something's just not sitting right with me. State education officials say declining enrollment makes it financially necessary to close some buildings. And regardless of how it was handled, Commissioner Infante Green said on 12 News at 4 on Wednesday, she won't pause the plan. We get it, but right now we need to think about what is fiscally responsible and what makes sense for the entire district. So short answer here, those two schools are definitely closing this spring. Yes. And in response to that potential lawsuit, a spokesperson for the commissioner tells me she was granted broad authority under the state takeover to lead the Providence School District. Ride's lawyer is reviewing that letter and will provide the K-12 Council with a legal opinion. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Steph Machado, 12 News.